Hi everyone, it's Muriel back again. Just enjoying being in the craft room every day. It's cold outside. Um, I don't even know what the temperature is, but I am in the craft room with my um, <clears throat> pajamas still on and a sweatshirt and uh, just crafting away. So today what I wanted to share with you guys is uh, some mini flags, mini pennant flags that I made. I made a banner yesterday. I cut, what I did was I cut out the banner and I cut out four of them and I had all this extra um, angled papers left over. And I can't tell you what collection this is from. Again, um, I don't even have the title page to tell you this, but it's Valentine related. So I, when I saw these, I thought, well, they look like um, pennant, pennant flags, but I need to cut them down and make some that are smaller. So that's just what I did. And here is an example of one of them. I am using the um, Michael, the picks. These here, these have been in my Valentine uh, basket for some time. I understand they have larger ones now, which I'm not going to get. This is the perfect size. And these did come pink, red, and gold. And I'm just using some of the mini puppy stickers from a couple of collections. Some of the ribbon, like I told you guys yesterday, it's almost gone. I, and I'm ready to use it up. So uh, some look like this. And then I have some that have a bow. I made some mini bows. I'm going to make some more of these at my crop when I go to uh, to at the end of the month. Really cute. I have a punch. So um, I've made a few, as you can see. And I just wanted to come on and show you guys so that you can make some as well. So the first thing I need to do is, again, um, I don't know how to measure this other than using what I have here. Um, let's use a pink one. Uh, let's use, let me see, this one here. And uh, what I had to do was cut it down some, so I pulled out my little mini cutter. And I'm just doing a guesstimate, right? What I'm, what I'm making sure I do is keep the bottom flat, straight, right? Because... Um, Otherwise, if you go like this, you're going to mess up the look of it. So I'm going to guesstimate about that much. Every time I do this, it moves. So let's, okay. So I'm going to discard this piece. And there I have my beginning of my pennant. The next thing I do is I take this large orange stick and I'm just going to curl this edge some, right? Like so. And then I'm going to, um, I think that's about where I want it. So then once I get the, the curl from the stick, then I pull out one of the, um, what are these called? The wooden sticks and butt it up against the top and then I like to pinch right there so that it's really tight up against the stick and then you'll notice that there is this extra little piece here I'm just gonna get my scissors and cut that out you know if you have a pennant die then you're set if you have um, scrap diva may have something um, then you're set but this is if you have to make one from scratch like me this is what I did. So, you see I have it just like this. So then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use some hot glue. I put my glue, oh goodness, close to the stick. And then I also put some right along the edge of the outside paper. And I'm making sure that it's butted up against there and that it's pinched. And that it stays closed, shut. Okay, then once I have that, then you have your look right there. 
The next thing I'm going to do is add some ribbon. And I'm working with um, three colors, pink, fuchsia, and red. It looks like I've ran out of the white. And I don't know if I have white separate, but my goal is to finish this roll. So I'm kind of guesstimating, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four inches. Okay. And then the trick to this is kind of um, put two, just kind of put the three together or one on top of the other. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over the top like so and staple it so you can kind of see it right there so I'm going to get my tiny attacher and I'm just going to put it right there and then I'm going to staple it and press it because I want it to really hold that ribbon and there you go and that's how it looks on that side okay then from here you are ready to decorate Again, you can see some I used, um, I'm just using puppy stickers and to cover up the staple, I used a heart or you could use a bow. So um, here's my puppy stickers. I just have so many of them. I am sick of them too. I'm ready to be at the end. And then I have some words here that I may wanna use. I have some these stickers puppy stickers and these so that's the hardest part deciding what to use um I did have one I kind of like that look there I did that when it has the uh rainbow and the heart so let's do another one of those but I think this time I'm going to use the lips so if I was to put the rainbow here And then, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just, mm, this is just too many choices. We'll put the lips. So I'm just gonna press that down. And then I'm going to find a word. These are, um, I don't think they will stand out, so I'm gonna find a um, I also found some words that I had over here by Pink Fresh Phrases and Stickers. Um, let's see, let's move this out the way so I can find something that's um, so much heart. That's okay. Um, life is wonderful. That's not. Where are my Tim Holtz sticker chit chat? pack I think that's what I probably okay wait a minute I just saw something these are thickers from American craft and they're black so they're going to stand out so let me just see if I can find maybe a word here um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see sweet smile there we go okay let's put a little um, let's put a little hot glue on this here because these stickers are old I don't even know if they still stick anymore let's see I'm just going to cover up that staple with the word sweet smile And then I think this is a little too long, so I'm going to cut it down some. Let's see here. There we go. There you go. These are so cute. They're easy to do once you get started with the creating the flag part then you're good to go. So, so far I think I've had, I think I have 10. Really fun to make. I'm gonna be packaging these up, sending to some friends in some happy mail. So I hope you like that idea. Um, 
please leave me a comment down below. I am still going strong. I think I'm going to pull my banner out. I created it. It is it's practically finished, but it needs just a little tweaking just to um, really make it pop because I have four to make. So I finished one. So I kind of want to finish that up. So I may just bring that um, to the video and share with you guys um, how it's coming along. So thanks for watching my mini pin it flag video and tutorial and i hope you try to make some of these thanks again bye now